it's the most frightening time of year, right? It's time to get scary, dude. It's time to get spooky, eerie, ghostly, mysterious, chilling, ominous, supernatural, dare I say? And I don't just mean because pumpkin spice is back and everywhere you go around every single corner there's a, a white lady in a wide brimmed hat with a scarf that is confusingly long just lurking. Fucking. <laughs> just hunting down her grande sugar free vanilla non fat dairy free Americana me stove with a pumpkin spice cinnamon twist and two shots of espresso. I'm talking because fucking Halloween is just around the corner. So we're going to be watching scary videos to watch this Halloween by a, a channel called Slapped Hand. Now the thing is, the video is an hour long. And fuck that, dude. You know? So we're going to be watching the first 10. So I guess realistically, this is going to be 10 scary videos to watch this Halloween. You're about to see some of the creepiest videos found on the internet. Let's check them out. I've watched a couple different Slapped Hand videos. And every intro, he does this thing every video he's like let's get into it <laughs> how you doing I'm how you doing I'm Callan how you doing I'm Callan and this is how you doing I'm Callan and this is slapped ham let's check him out ever had the feeling that someone or something is watching you well next time remember to whip out your cell phone and start recording I got that fuck yeah I got that feeling right now I hope somebody's watching me right right now it's kind of the point of what I'm doing. In this clip, uploaded to TikTok by Old Fogey John, we see someone walking along a dirt path at night time. Take a look at what they captured on camera. By the far tree on the right side of the path, there appears to be some sort of creature lurking in the darkness. Its posture seems similar to that of an ape. Is that, is that Joe Rogan? What the hell? A fucking creepy video of Joe Rogan in the night? In a forest? <laughs> Unfortunately, the clip ends there and we're unable to get a better look at the mysterious beast. So what do you think this could be? Some sort of you can get a pretty good look if you uh, just go on Spotify. There's like thousands of episodes of this, this beast. This next clip shows a photo that the woman's landlord took of the building. So my landlord sends me this picture because she's trying to take pictures of the new windows that got replaced. There appears to be a creepy doll sitting in the- Why does it look like fucking Pennywise? Am I wrong? Window. Is in the left window next to the chimney. I don't own any dolls. However, the TikToker notes that she doesn't own a doll. She then shows the window from inside the house. There appears to be nothing there. To see if I can somehow make myself feel better. There's scratches on the windowsill for some reason. Maybe because you own a pet. And maybe because the people before you possibly owned a pet. Pets are known to have nails and to put their paws up on windowsills when they're trying to look outside. So, or... There's a, there's a real Pennywise inside your house that was fucking clawing to get out. It's either or, probably 50-50 shot. <laughs> Equal chances of either. We see the TikToker's dogs as they're suddenly alerted to something outside. <laughs> they move from window to window, barking at the presence. There's scratches on the windowsill for some reason. At first, there doesn't seem to be any dog behavior, dude. Anytime something is outside, the dogs are gonna do this kind of shit. However, take a look at what the outdoor security camera captured. Here we go. <laughs> it's Joe Rogan. <laughs> There appears to be an eerie figure wandering across the yard. Who knows? 
the the resolution is so incredibly low the camera's struggling to even prove the existence of somebody being there something that i would take into consideration right about my security camera if they're like 50 feet away it fades in and out of existence the difficulty is if it was actually an entity i still don't find it damning enough evidence to prove it i don't know how you're supposed to ever prove these things but this ain't it Look at that shadow right there. Look, what the f it did. In this video, and posted to Facebook by Tyrone Jackson, we see a mysterious shadowy figure moving on the other side of the street. Watch what happens. Look at that across the street. Look. Why did the car the street? Look, look, look. What the f is that? Why did? Why would he take our run? Why did? Why did thing chase him? Wait, <laughs> is this footage of your car being broken into and robbed? But you're busy looking at the thing in the background. Dude, there's more pressing shit going on here. The ghost isn't chasing the guy. This is you getting fucking robbed and the camera struggling to pick up a guy across the way. <laughs> It appears that the thief suddenly notices the strange figure just after snatching something from the car. Look, look, what the f is that? It's a person, my guy. <laughs> it then looks as though the ghostly figure chases the criminal down the street. They're both running away because they stole. They're not, he's not running from a ghost and the ghost certainly isn't chasing. It's not a visual anti -growth. It's not Batman, my guy. It's not Superman. It's a fucking accomplice. <laughs> it's possible that the mysterious figure is the result of a camera glitch. However, if this was the... You think? Do you think so? If that's possible, then fucking don't show me this video. Because it's not scary, right? Because there's a possibility that it's the simplest answer. In case, then why does the footage clearly show the thief without any blurring? Different clothing, different colored clothing, different proximity to the camera, different lighting from the garage, probably the car lights up. There's like a, a number of reasons that that could be the case, but also a possibility of a fucking ghost. <laughs> it could go either way. This is yet more footage of the ever elusive and legendary Loch Ness Monster. 54-year-old Richard Maver was competing in the Great Glen Canoe Challenge in September of 2021 when he accidentally spotted something strange swimming in the waters of Loch Ness. While capturing drone footage for his YouTube channel, Richard Outdoors, the camera picked up something swimming in the shallow waters near the <laughs> Richard Outdoors. This is Dick Outdoors. Uh, yes, I paused the video because Dick Outdoors made me chuckle. And I felt like I should share that. Because I'm a giant 12 year old. The shoreline. At first, Maver didn't notice anything in the water. It wasn't until he uploaded the footage that a few keen eyed viewers spotted the strange shape. <laughs> it's just his dick is out. Whoa, is that a Loch Ness monster? Or is that a, a man's penis? Is that, or is that a dick outdoors? Take a look. As you can see, there's a long object floating in the water. It does indeed resemble the classic depiction of the Loch Ness Monster. A long neck with a broad body and fin. It's an edit. It's pretty shallow. For something that would be that size to just be chilling out there right and like why would it approach the shoreline with all these people if it's super fucking elusive and nobody can ever see it and it's like there's it's really difficult to get uh, undeniable evidence of it why would it be so close to everybody Maeve told the daily mirror that he couldn't believe what he had captured he had to rewind the footage several times before the sighting finally sank in he couldn't believe it because it's fake Here's some more eerie home security footage. Its origins are unknown, but it's been spreading through social media quickly this past few weeks. This version was uploaded to Twitter by Sidio Paranormal. Watch.
two misty shapes drift through the yard. It's almost like somebody was just out of frame, breathing into the cold night's air. Or it's an, an other dimensional being. It's one or the other. <laughs> it's probably just some fucking 15 year old puffing back on their jewel, dude. Just vaping at nighttime, trying not to be caught by their parents. <laughs> They look like two floating figures wearing robes or tattered rags. Excuse me? I didn't get all that. <laughs> I didn't see that much fucking detail. When they disappear, the light turns off and the camera switches to night vision. This suggests that something was in the yard, something big enough to trigger the motion sensor. Like a person vaping. Jay Barari is a TikToker that's managed to capture a lot of creepy things on camera. Rule number one, never trust a fucking TikToker. <laughs> I'm joking, but honestly, not a terrible rule to live by. <laughs> fucking lynx. Definitely uh, the sound of a lynx. Now, if you heard that in the middle of the dark coming from the forest and you had no idea that a lynx would make that sound, I could see assuming that it was a fucking witch of some sort. That adds up. <laughs> That's a fucking, we got it, dude. Demon, demon caught on camera. <laughs> captured this next video while they were outside putting the chickens away. It seems that they too had that uneasy feeling that they were being watched. So like the TikToker in the first video, they instinctively reached for their phone and hit record. Take a look at what they caught on film. You guys hear that? At first, it might be hard to spot. However, wait, you're telling me that outside in nature, from the forest, you heard animal sounds? <laughs> Wrap it up, ghost proved. It doesn't get any more cut and dry than that. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what number I'm on. I don't know if this is eight or nine, if this is 10. Not sure if any of the ones that I already watched are going to be cut out, so... An empty house can sometimes give off a rather creepy vibe. Perhaps it's the fact that there's no signs of- I ain't creeped out by that shit, dude. I'll take that apartment in a fucking heartbeat. I hang out with any ghost, as long as I can afford this apartment. <laughs> the only thing scaring me about this apartment is the potential monthly cost if you got this in the area I live. I'd fucking be roommates with a goddamn ghoul if I could fucking swing this apartment. In this video posted to Reddit by Puzzleheaded Snow 23, we see the camera holder walking through an empty property. There's little context provided, however, it seems that they might be creating the clip for a potential buyer. As they make their way through the bare space, take a look at what they inadvertently captured on camera. <laughs> This is a very different space now we're in. This is not the apartment that I was promised, dude. Let down again. Every time I go to view an apartment, it's not what the fucking picture's promised. If we watch that again, you can actually see a woman in the background. Whoa!
According to the poster, only two people were inside the apartment when the video was taken, leaving little room for explanation as to the figure's origin. Well, if they said there's only two people in there, why would they lie? People don't lie. That's not a thing people do, especially not on the internet for clout. Also, as far as I'm able to tell, there is two people. The person filming in the quote-unquote ghost that we just saw. August of 2010, the Japan Agency for Marine Earth Science and Technology was conducting a deep sea dive when they filmed something mysterious in the waters of Sagami Bay, southwest of Tokyo. As the Hyper Dolphin ROV explored the murky depths, cameras were rolling, capturing images of the deep sea habitat. At first, everything seems fairly normal. This is the most interesting thing that I've seen the entire time. And to be honest with you, underwater creatures are inherently a little bit scary. Suddenly, out of the gloomy abyss, an unidentified creature appears. Its large, wide eyes are dotted just above a gaping mouth. The creature's solid frame disappears into the cloudy background. Looks like a fucking rock to me, dude. Looks like a rock that happens to have like two parts that look like eyes, but the thing ain't moving. It's entirely possible that this is just a rock with two well-placed shells, giving our brains the impression that a creature with a face is present. However, in the footage, it does appear as though the object moves. Where? So what do you think? I didn't see any fucking movement, man. The camera's moving. Dude, that is not a monster in the Sagami Bay. <laughs> in fact, dude, you can fucking... Your bay can suck on me. It's a, it's a play on words about getting head from your bitch because this footage is fake. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be the last clip i don't know how many i did i don't know how many i'm gonna edit out hopefully it's about 10 but only time can tell dude <laughs>